Welcome to the Any Last Words podcast. Four overzealous friends, severely in over their heads, navigate what they claim to be areas of their own expertise, be it nerd culture, politics, or critiquing media. Join us, if you will. For these may very well be... Our last words. Nerd ultima verba. Three things get the job done most of the time in science. Lasers. My mum. Magnets. <laughs> Alright, four things. <laughs> like 30 bucks in every time. Yeah. And then I pulled out like a month later because um, I said. needed that money. That's what yeah. so, oh, so <laughs> <laughs> When I tried picking up Guilty Gear, I, f- I stopped at the tutorial and I'm like, you know what, fuck this. I'm not finishing this. So I'm like, fuck this. I do like multiplayer matches. Within about half an hour, I've already broken my Xbox controller. Three, two, one, clap. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Any Last Words podcast rated 13 chicken strips out of 3 chicken nuggets. I'm joined here with my favourite female representation of all gamers across the universe and this specific planet. It's Reggie! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys suck. Yeah, and of Leave course, me alone! Uh, I'm adjacent to me, I've got my first favourite human, third favourite host and first favourite manager. But you! <laughs> Woo! And of course, this week we're joined by two excellent guests who have been very excited to have for quite some time. <laughs> Introduce yourself, lads. Uh, which one first? I think you should go. <laughs> All right, man. You're close to the mic. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Mina. Um, look, if you're bored, go to my Instagram account. Go watch a Monkey Monday, okay? This is true. Monkey Monday is my favorite day of the week now. So <clears> I'm the fact so much. that Mondays is when I do weed. You know, there's no correlation there, but. Uh, it certainly contributes. I think it's definitely a factor. You know, yeah, return definitely. Return to monkey. Exactly. Monkey brain. And adjacent to him, we've got... Uh, my name's Aaron. Uh, I run a channel called Vertical. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty dead right now, because I haven't been bothered to, to edit any videos. That's a fat man. And... <laughs> yeah. Um... Yo, watch the videos. Maybe, maybe that'll motivate you. Subscribe to Vertical. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> if you subscribe, one like equals one prayer for um, Aaron to edit. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. some, that's some good content. Naturally, of course. Nice. Everyone check that shit out. Why the fuck not? Mm-hmm. And once again, he's not here. He never is here. He's not on time. Jesus never. Christ. Jesus knock, H. Christ. Knock, knock, knock. What did you do with my fucking doorbell? Why is it just saying knock? You said it didn't pick up well on the microphone, so I just thought it. Well, that's because he just bashed the table and then just picks up on everyone's mics and it turns out really weird. (laughs) Well, apologies. Listeners are going to hate that now. Yeah. Hey, it wasn't me this time, though, guys. You can ridicule Callum this time. What did I do? I don't know. But either way, all you need to know is in our very fancy studio, I got stuck in the elevator on the way up. Someone pressed all the buttons. Which elevator? You know, the the one, you know, over there. The one between the 1st and the 17th or the 17th and the 28th? Yeah, that one. Cool. Yeah, um, yeah, I basically got stuck on the elevator. Someone pressed all the buttons on the way up. Oh, It wasn't me. It's fine. I'm here now. That's all that matters. Hey, so let's introduce our guests right now. No, 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 no. we've already done that. Well, you missed it. You missed the fun bit. Hi. Yeah, sorry, Brendan. Uh, uh, it's all good. Hey, you know my name. Cool. Hi. Yeah. Whoa, they know your name. Oh, wow. I know, wow. Yeah. I know oh, your wow. theme song as well. Oh. oh, this is getting personal real quick. Thank you. If you like the level of content that we bring to you here on the ALW podcast, don't forget to fucking like, smash the subscribe button, and kiss my ass. Yeah. More importantly... I'd like to say something. Okay. Go ahead. You guys have amazing hair, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I'll, t- I'll be honest right now. So, on my way here, so obviously I took a shower before I stepped out of the house, but Naturally. like, I cut it real close. Like, I'm telling I got out of the shower like 4.50, mm. right? Oh, and Aaron was at my door like 4.55. That's not even the funny part, but okay, but <laughs> everything is funny now. Everything I'm funny. on weed, it's all funny. <laughs> but I was shaving as well and I, I opened the door and I, I thought I had shaving cream like in my ears behind my I didn't I didn't finish and I opened the door for Aaron. And I mean, you know, maybe maybe some clothes yeah. maybe some clothes were a bit yeah. missing and I was yeah. like, you know, you uh, the door, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, and I asked to be with shaving cream around my face. Yeah, monkey. Yeah, exactly. The, look, monkey. the philosophy of the monkey is there's no shame being naked. Exactly. And that's, mm. that's what we're here for. Mm-hmm. The less you wear, the closer to, you are to monkey. To be yeah. naked? You're here to be naked? No. He's here to be monkey. monkey. <laughs> 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 I get it! <laughs> I 
I get it, Brandon. Why don't you? <laughs> Sorry, I was late. I missed out on some clearly pertinent information here. That's... Someone <laughs> doesn't follow Monkey Monday. Dude, I... Monkey Monday is a way Mon- of life. Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, hey, guys, i got to ask you something very personal and important. What kind of shampoo do you use? That's a riveting question. I know, right? I, know. <laughs> um, I don't want to answer all of the I questions. Know. I don't know. Well, whatever, whatever, whatever my parents <laughs> tell me to use. Mm. Um, I like to use a mixture of, like, cow's milk As or, one and does. goat's yeah. cheese. Yeah. It's a really good, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, really And I use, like, lavender effective. oil. As well, natural, oh, wow. natural stuff. Yeah, no, real I natural thought you stuff. were joking when so. you said goat cheese and cow. No, no, I'm being really serious. Good. It is. Yeah, it it's genuinely sweet. is. Yeah, wow. and yeah. um, just dirt as well. Like, yeah. the, it's you know how you have you exfoliate and there's like you know exactly. charcoal, charcoal coffee beans. You know, grind the dirt oh, into your yeah. skin, releases your pores. Mm. Well, putting dirt through your hair does the same thing for your hair. It's like exactly. exfoliate. And it's I mean, a natural I alternative. A, I work at a cafe. You want me to get you some? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hook me up oh, with wow. those terrible yeah. coffee club cups. I did not expect <laughs> a genuine answer from that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have to do some research. This is great. Oh, okay. It's great for beards too. Just letting everyone know. Public service announcement right here. Oh. Dirt through the beard. It really works. Your beard is looking glorious. It, it's <laughs> getting there. <laughs> I know, yeah. I've, never, I've never taken much thought into hair care. I just like... I was like, well, oh, you wouldn't know it if you just looked at it. Woo, shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, my, my next move with my hair, if I'm honest, I'm gonna. So it's like it's like a five ten year plan though. Here's the thing. So oh, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna grow it out, right? Mm. Um, and I move to Japan. Yep. I buy like a whole bunch of hair dyes, get real fit, like shredded fit, mm. like anime protagonist fit, oh, right? Wow. Wow. Color my shit. hair, learn a martial art, vigilante justice. Batman oh, that's type gorgeous. stuff, but like wow. in Japan, real life anime protagonist. I don't even watch that much anime. I'm gonna fucking lie. <laughs> I just wanna be. <laughs> <one. laughs> it's just whatever. What, wow, that's brilliant. That's inspiring, I must say. Yeah. So like, me and my hair were pretty close. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's quite attached to you, I must say. <laughs> 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 oh, funny. No, it's yes. extraordinarily funny. Mm. Only the highest quality of content. Mm. Uh, yeah, but irregardless. Didn't you want to carry this on? Hmm? You. Just you in general. God. Be yourself. Yeah, exactly. Mm. God. Can oh, you just yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. the okay. question? Yes. <laughs> God. Um, God. Yeah, God. games. It's like yes. a yeah. 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 We're, we're big gamers. Yeah, we're big Whoa. gamers. Big gamers. Big gamers. Oh my God. Well, okay, I'm Aaron. Aaron yeah. What have you been playing recently? Oh, naturally. Uh, I've been playing Guilty Gear recently. The Guilty. fighting game, anime fighting game. Anime fighting game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, hmm? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought you said something there. Was... Fighting well, games. You did. I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I wanna, I wanna get more people into fighting games, but like. Oh uh, yeah. This okay. Guy. So he, he could even pass a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is up with you, you fucking journalist? Okay, look. <laughs> There's no shame in being a journalist, alright? Here's the thing. Have you watched him play Doom Eternal? Uh, no! I beat that boss! (laughs) (laughs) And I put shitty music in the background to compensate. Oh man, okay, look. So when I tried picking up Guilty Gear under Eren's request, Renvert One Cow subscribed to Vertical, um, (laughs) when I tried picking up Guilty Gear, I, f- I stopped at the tutorial and I'm like, you know what, fuck this. I'm not finishing this. This is such a badly designed tutorial. The enemies, <laughs> like, you have to kill the enemies before some, like, half a second respawn timer finishes. So I'm like, fuck this. I do, like, multiplayer matches. Within about half an hour, I've already broken my Xbox controller. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 I broke the controller. He's oh slow as fuck, that's why. Man. Oh, that's Blame gorgeous. The <laughs> um, okay. Let me. Uh, I've told you this so many times. The Guilty Gear tutorial is one of the best fighting game tutorials. Hey okay, man, <laughs> says, who, says <laughs> the journalists that you make fun of. I, bro, I even got freaking. I, <laughs> I got other people to do it, and they did it. <laughs> That's <laughs> proof to you that you're bad. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, hey, monkeys are getting there with video games. Exactly. Be They're a, not oh amazing. Oh my god, be a monkey. Yes. Oh. The characters are, I play are full monkeys. Oh. oh. Just, come 
on, Mina. What are you doing? Yeah, I have a feeling it is not being full on monkey energy yeah. with this game. Now, monkeys yeah. can play pong with their minds. I now. conserve my brain energy, my monkey brain energy. That's fair. You know, towards more productive ventures. You know, you know, not just monkeys, but a dog can do a, a quarter circle input. Ooh, wow, that's not pretty even impressive. <laughs> hey, man, look. The, the bumbly control <laughs> stick go round circle. I push button. Mm, if true. attack no work, quit game. Rage you want me, you want me to give yeah. you one of my controllers then? No, he's gonna. He break. might break I'll that one. Yeah. Break that as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shame in breaking shit, man. That's well, monkey. Monkey. Think... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh my uh, it is uh, what it is. So though. fighting game, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start that conversation over again. <laughs> Go again from the beginning. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I play Guilty Gear. I play. I mainly play with um with uh, Andrew and Daniel. Mm. You, yeah. Yes. Mm. Those, um, Andrew's the mayor's son. Yeah. This is true. He's the oh. prince of. Uh, to... Yes. <laughs> We've gone off on a tangent again. This is <laughs> why we're experts at these sort of things, yes. tangents yeah. and whatnot. Yes. Um. Yeah, the game's really fun. Uh, there's a new there's a new installment coming out in I think two months. Mm, hell yeah! yeah. Um, I recommend checking it out if you guys got like Playstations or yes. PCs I mean, to play on. Oh, yeah. Hey man, we're not all. I have both. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I got the PC, but Playstations are too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Playstation, oh. Oh, oh man! Oh, no. I finally oh, managed man. to get a pre-order. Thanks yeah. to oh. who? Thanks to who? You. Yeah. <laughs> I drove, him, I drove him to the good guys. Hell yeah! And he called me like at what was it, like eleven thirty? Yeah, yeah, Mina, yeah. Mina, the pre-orders. Good guys just got more stock. The pre-orders are back up. <laughs> Mina, you have to come to my place. I'm like, okay, I'll get ready and I'll be there really soon. Like twenty minutes. I said twenty minutes, right? You, you, I waited an hour. I took <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm currently just... googling if any pre-orders are available in Australia at the moment. But that's that's <laughs> just the most. Re- I think last time I checked. Harvey yeah. Norman said they had stock back. They probably do. But yes. it's probably fucking gone now. Yeah. It probably is. yeah, that shit has a tendency to like disappear Target, within the hour. Yeah, I heard Target and Harvey Norman today had stock. Mm. Oh, that and gets it, just, you. it just flew off. If not, I'll just wait another two months. See, as a resource, as a commodity by weight, PS5s really should cost more than like gold. Like a kilo <laughs> like, like what's worth more, a kilogram of PS5s or a kilogram of gold? Uh, Only one right answer, guys. Uh, the p- p- uh-huh. PS5? Don't make me Google In my that. monkey society, the PS5. <laughs> okay, hell yeah. Um, yeah. What's a monkey gonna do with gold, you know? Exactly. Melt it down, make a solid gold Xbox controller. That's a good point. An unbreakable one. Not really, it's gold. Okay, Linus. True. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, man. Linus has 10 million subscribers. Don't go... Ooh. Supporting oh, wow. Linus And tactics. I need to get back on the YouTube grind. Oh, yeah. 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 Just do a diss track on Linus. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gives me tech tips. Yeah. I, you want the tip? I don't want to do that to <laughs> <laughs> Do the opposite of a diss track, a respect track. <laughs> respect <laughs> track. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Wiki Wiki Woo. Dude. I like your PC build. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> I appreciate you. Wiki Wiki Woo. Me. Is that I love you? Oh no, that's oh, dude. Okay, look. Oh, this is going um, somewhere. Kitchy, kitchy. You know, um, Phineas oh, and yeah. 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 You just woke up a memory like deep inside of me, man. That's like deep in the archives. Oh, that's, that's what she said. Deep in the archives. Whoa. <laughs> Get deep in my archives. That's also Whoa. what she said. Whoa. Damn. Wow. Right. Here's what it is. We're off on a roll. We really are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like talking about like the value of like commodities, like PS5 to gold ratio and monkey society. Mm. I believe Aaron wanted to talk about a bit of investments and shit, or just oh. like stocks and Hell whatnot. Yeah. 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 So how do you feel about that? Where do you want to take this? Um. Well. Uh, I mean, I've mainly been doing crypto lately. Yeah. I've just, I've, um, so originally back in February, um, I was like, I was like, haha, wouldn't it be funny if I freaking, <laughs> cause like, yeah. uh, cause like around that time, that was when the whole GameStop, yeah. GME <laughs> jumped, <laughs> Blackberry <laughs> jumped, all that, I was, mm. um, I was like, do I want to get into the stock market? And I looked at crypto, and Elon Musk was just freaking Doge, Doge yeah, to the moon, yeah. <laughs> to the moon. And I was like, you know what? I think, I think that's, I think that's the easier option there. I pulled mm. the funny, 
put like <laughs> I, I I went on the small amount. I put like thirty bucks in. Yeah. And then I pulled out like a month later because um because I needed that money. That's what. Yeah. I so, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you know, responsible spender mm. fucking needs to pull it out of his crypto wallet. Mm. Um. But yeah. Um. But this. Last, last week, actually, one of my workmates was like, yo, like, Dogecoin's going up again. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'm putting, uh, and, um, so yeah, I, I put, I, I think I did less this time. I think it was mm. like 20, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Yeah. Cause like, that's all, that's all I had at the time. I was like, okay, let's, let's watch this go. I come home from work that night and it went from, uh, the, the day before, uh, when I checked, it was like 15 cents. I, I went back home from work the next day and it was like, it was 50 cents. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> was just, yeah, it does. I was like, holy crap. It's, I think it's still 50 cents right now. Mm. It, mm. it dipped on Sunday. Every, almost every cryptocurrency dipped on Sunday. Yeah, that was that big dip just then. Yeah, I was, I was like talking to people, they're like, I lost, I lost like fucking twelve, twelve hundred dollars in this shit. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like unlucky. Yeah. <laughs> so, but no, I have all together. I've put like two hundred, three hundred. Mm. Um, for now, I want, I, I plan to put more in. That's cool. Um, mm. so yeah, the closest I've done with like stock trading is have you guys heard of spaceship? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. I've just been using that. And it's Honestly, like the, fair the, the most easiest yeah. way to invest in shares. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I money. <laughs> <laughs> money. Money. Uh, uh, money is money is the yeah. student life. <laughs> I like money. Oh uh, yeah, relatable. Yeah. Mm. So, mm. I mean, honestly, like cryptocurrency is starting to look like I mean the the future of economics really. Uh, but then, like you see, contrastingly, like a couple of European countries just pulled out of uh, cryptocurrency altogether, mm. which is like part of the reason why it dipped on Sunday. Yeah. And also, like there was a large server crash somewhere, mm. which held a lot of uh, cryptocurrency and all that shit. Mm. So, like, it's got potential, certainly. Like, yeah, hell, we definitely. just created a new fucking currency for shits there's, and giggles. Um, yeah, what is it? Someone, because there's a tweet Elon Musk made recently. Mm. Like, if there's any drama involving me tag it in the hashtag elongate yeah. on Twitter and someone made a cryptocurrency out of that. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, uh, what? Yeah. Did you say yeah. elongate? Yeah, elongate. It's like pizza <laughs> gate, but Elon Musk. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I considered doing stocks, but at the same time, like, uh, I know for a fact that I'm just going to forget that I've put, like, yeah. 50 bucks in there <laughs> yeah. when I check back, the, the, like, yeah, owe someone gone. money. <laughs> the, yeah, the, that's the issue with me as well. Like, I, I want to find, le like, long-term, yeah. mainly, but I also want to day trade, but, mm. you know, mm. the, mo the most favorable would be long-term. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. I can't manage just mm. checking every what like what hour yeah exactly. so, I think the return on investment with day trading is quite poor because mm. realistically you want like it's harder to manage a diverse portfolio but that's the ideal scenario where you have yeah a little bit here a little bit there you know so you never really yeah, yeah don't don't try to invest in competing companies in the same field or the same space mm -hmm. right yeah because you know there's a flux there's, equi there's an equilibrium there's only so much cake to go around really mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so if, if one company you've invested in you know takes a, um, a higher value that value is coming from somewhere yeah. essentially its competitors are going to be seen as less valuable so don't try to invest in you know competing companies in the same mm. you know kind of play space the other thing is keeping a, a diverse portfolio also means not all not all your money's in the you know one spot if it's not in the one spot, it's harder to manage, which is yeah. why I'm broke at the moment. Exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah! Yes. Yeah. So We're just gonna ignore the fact that you bought a VR headset. Okay. <laughs> that is, <laughs> okay, that is why yeah. I'm broke. Hey, but that's a worthy investment. You know, really yeah, yeah, that's, you know what makes it worse? He got the same model. Like he got the he got the wrong model. Oh my okay. God. Oh. So I ordered the 256 gig Oculus Quest 2. 
And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm oh, gonna no. take this thing to parties. Take it <laughs> <laughs> like 256 gigs, that's like 20 games, man. Everyone's gonna have a go, everyone's gonna play, everyone's gonna love me because I'm the VR guy, man. Uh. And then the 60, <laughs> I opened the box in the mail, um, Oculus Quest 2, 64 gigabytes. I'm like, dude, I did not pay for this shit. I contacted Amazon and I'm like, hey, yo, what's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I rolled up my. Sl- I sent a picture of myself shirtless in the mirror. Hey, yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Gang son. Exactly. You know, when the Monkey blood aura. starts to boil, you know I can smell fear, right? Yes. yes and I sent that to the guy, and the guy I forgot his name. It was like um, Jeffrey. Probably. Let's just go with Jeffrey. Jeff, right? yes. His name is Jeff. <laughs> yeah, it was Jeff. Yeah, right? it was yeah. genuinely bad, Jeff. I sent this DM to Jeff Bezos, and I'm, I'm like, hey, yo, what's up? And he's like, sorry, Mina, sorry, Mina, I'm so sorry. Let me give you all of your money back, Whoa. and we'll take care of it. And they took care of it. What oh. can I say? Well, they're in the process of taking care of it. Well, okay. So yeah. that, oh, so it's a good resolution it's to the story. Yeah, right? it's, yeah. it's a happy yeah. ending. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, happy, happy ending. Someone's going to be like, you broke it again. You need to reorder it. Yeah, I, I need, well, yeah, I do need to reorder the 256 gig with the money that I got sent back. But they did give me... Twenty dollars for peace of mind for wow. my troubles, oh. dude. That's a net gain. You're talking about <laughs> really stocks. Is. You guys are talking about stocks and crypto. I'm talking about Amazon refunds. All right. That's a good <laughs> point. I'll give you that. Like if you can start a mass scheme. Twenty bucks over three days. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Let's not forget. We're gonna we're gonna be crypto mining soon. Exactly. True. Mm. Okay. Look. If it weren't for the shitty GPU shortage right now, yes, we would be rolling in dough. All right. We really would be. I'm talking. So a small investment, an initial investment of. So when you're trying to set up crypto um, mining, you get a rig, you know, in your motherboard CPU, just a working mm. PC. And the, the, you know, the piece of hardware that mines these uh, cryptocurrencies is the graphics card. So basically there's an algorithm they can send to you have to process it. There's a thing called a hash rate, which is how fast you can kind of process chunks in and out based on the hash rate of your GPU, which is generally, it's just like, it's a power level really. Mm-hmm. You know, it's over 9,000! Yes. Yes. But yes. based on the GPU's hash rate, you'll be able to pump out more of these algorithms at a time. And each algorithm, you know, each step of the algorithm that you kind of solve, every match with a remote server, you get a transaction on a thing called a blockchain. Every transaction is assigned a value. Every value results in cryptocurrency saved to your rig, right? And that's money that you have now. So you just need a graphics card, really, that has yeah. a good hash rate. Now, the problem is there are no fucking graphics cards right? on the yeah. planet, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. We were, I was buying a, going, oh, sorry. There you go. Whoa. 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 Mexican oh, standoff scissors, type. paper, rock. Okay, yeah. three, two, one. Yeah. I pulled scissors, I win. The fuck did I just watch? <laughs> yeah, we need to get video on the no, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, I thought Brandon grew a pair. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't even just start like going through the scissors paper rock. He just says, "I pulled scissors, I win." <laughs> 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 I'm joking, you know, I'm I'm very honest with you. I completely agree. It's true. That's true. <laughs> well, you know what? I was going to say. Hmm. Actually, I was going through because um, I was getting a PC um, like build. Hmm. Me and my brother were, and I got like a just like a pretty like decent uh, graphics card. But my brother was looking for like a really good one, mm. but they didn't have anything, and mm. I'm just like, because went to went all the way to um, yeah. uh, what's it called? It was some store, and um, it they they just had, had like nothing, and, and yeah. we were just like, well, at least I'm getting like something <laughs> decent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, like, bro. I, I have, I because like I've been meaning to upgrade my PC since last year, like since the end of last year, mm. and I just have I have my upgrade parts. <laughs> But they're just laying on the ground because it's not complete. Because I I still I still need a CPU GPU. I still need to get my motherboard and cooler. Yeah. And yeah. And like I was like I don't want to buy everything else until I actually have money. And <laughs> and the GPU is back. Yeah. What? So on a side note, <laughs> we're charging Reggie's laptop while we're going, and it just hit sixty nine percent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what I've been waiting for! <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> anyway, continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I... I've been meaning to PC upgrade, but I just fucking can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. This I, is my first PC, so. mm, My PC, it's... It just got completely revamped, new new chassis and everything, mm. and it can run games like butter. Oh, <laughs> I've, I've, seen seen you, I've seen you play mm. Nier. Yes, oh, Nier and I've Horizon. Seen you I've seen you're enjoying yourself. I know. Yeah, you really I, 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 
gave up on computer games like three years ago because I couldn't run anything. Mm. But the, oh my god, I haven't stopped playing my Horizon man. and, and <laughs> Nier. It's so good, and it looks so good as well. God, it's, mm. it's better than it real really life. Matters. It's better it really matters. really does. Life. Speaking of better than real life, <gasps> virtual reality, right? It's true. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, on my PC, <laughs> I <tried laughs> nothing's happened yet. So on my PC, Steam has this utility. It's called um, like VR Ready Test or something. Mm. You run it and you test your computer hardware before you know run VR games. And it's a ten point scale, right? Six and above is VR Ready. You know you can run games on high settings. Yeah. Four and below is like, oh, maybe you want to spend some money on a new review or something. <laughs> Between four and six is like, you know what? Fuck you. You bought enough good enough shit, but you know what? You can't run on high settings. So. Mm. Out of the 10 point scale where 6 is a really good score, do you want to know where my PC got? What? 2. 5.9. Oh. <laughs> 5.9. So I'm like, so do I get high settings or not, guys? So I'm just here, like, I have an RX 580, which is mm. a pretty good card. It's, it's kind spicy. of. Yeah, it's like $200 or so. It's yeah. not, not too bad, but it's about the same strength as a 1060, 6 gig 1060 for you mm. people who only know. Nvidia graphics cards, um, mm. it's a good card, but like it's showing its age, man. Like mm. it, like I'm having to put settings down every now and then. I, I kind of like a tear rolls down. My <laughs> like, I turn the settings down and I'm like, I a little you know, funeral uh, ceremony for the pixels. I think mine's like a lost. sixteen sixty. That's a good card. It's a good That's, card. Yeah. yeah, it's come to the point where my phone and my laptop are more powerful than my. <laughs> so, yeah, I, it makes That's me so genuinely sad. sad. I had that I just, problem. I had yeah. that problem. My, bloody hell, my PC couldn't run Terraria that well. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. But my laptop, it was like a dream. <laughs> I used to have. Oh, I used to have an Alienware laptop, but mm. it was like mm. it was like six years old. And it just started getting like really shit. So I had to, and like, so it just heats up so fast. Like, I play Overwatch or something, mm -hmm. and the frames just go back to like to five. <laughs> and I'm just like, so what I did was I put like a giant book under my eye. <laughs> 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 it was just like this. <laughs> like, my keyboard is just like, uh, that's gonna be yeah. It's just up here, and then my mouse is just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that I got an upgrade. Oh my shit, man. Oh, uh, hold on. I, I have a question for okay to anyone that plays games on PC. What are your mouse DPI's? Uh, mine is like <laughs> eight hundred. Okay, nine hundred. Mine. Okay, mine's a Bluetooth mouse. Okay, so it's it's. But does know, it does it does it go fast or does it go slow? I mean, well, you know, it's not a high quality Bluetooth mouse, so mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. It does, it it does Woolies, the job. Yeah, okay, does but the job. like, yeah. does it go fast or does it go slow? Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's what she the question. said. Whoa! <laughs> like, the sensitivity. Uh, sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Yeah. <laughs> Look, because it's a Bluetooth mouse, it varies from moment to moment, right? Oh. Like, you know, oh it my jumps God. across the screen <laughs> Are you sure it's... you're not, like, pressing a button? <laughs> I, maybe I am. DPI this... on the fly. Yeah. Cause I, some, it, some mouse have like uh, a, a GP like a GPI button that you can like increase. Mine like, is not mine that is set crazy. to six hundred on yeah, on my PC. Mm. But that's because I'm using a a two K monitor. So oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, if it was back on 1080p, it'd probably be like four hundred or something. <laughs> so yeah, really low. Yeah, yeah. And people, cause like, I apart from fighting games, if I if I've got no one to play with, I play Eversu. Mm. So rhythm, rhythm game yeah. is the mouse, yeah. and people would be like, "How the fuck do you play OSU?" That's a good point, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know, I can do, I can do. So like, to people, yeah, to anyone that's played OSU, probably like your hard difficulty would be like four to six, right? Mm. And I can get those consistently wow. at, yeah, at yeah. that speed. I'm just like, and people would look at me like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I played Ursu a while ago, mm. and like, I uh, can't remember what my, what my like, sense was, but mm. my GPI would be, I think, around 800 still, or yeah. 1600 even, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. <from> like, <laughs> my, my account is a solid 91%, uh, yeah, 91% accurate for That's on Ursu. Good. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Here's yeah. what it is. I'm just playing Counter Strike on a trackpad, though. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> I, remember, I remember walking around the library at our school, yeah. that one person playing CS with the... <laughs> 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 I remember and before... The uh, before I got oh. a mouse, I had I had just had the, the MacBook Pro. Mm, yeah. 16 inch, you know. Mm, and then on the track... Yo, PvP, let's go! <laughs> oh, 1v1 me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just more used to the trackpad than a mouse now. Like, I've really? never touched oh, yeah. a mouse. Really? Wow. Like, my... my my steam tag is the trackpad warrior. <laughs> I know for a fact I'm pretty much never going to get a mouse at this point. Yeah. <laughs> the thing oh, is, like, no. once you get a mouse, it just feels so much nicer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Except for the carpal tunnel. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> Here we go. Get one of those fancy like oh, the standing one. up. It's the oh, sideways yeah. one. Yeah, the, the weird one. Oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 weird. Weird. yeah, yeah. yeah. We're developing now. Eventually, I won't need a mouse, and I'll just like get to wave my hand around. Dude, that's, that's cool. The Oculus exactly. Quest Two can do that. Exactly. <laughs> you put yeah. the headset on, and you hold your hands in front of it for a number of yeah. seconds, oh, and, and like, it will track, 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 track your hands. So cool. Yeah. Speaking of that, remember when you were complaining to us about about privacy issues? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you you were like, should I like do I sell my body to Facebook or? <laughs> 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 So basically, I'm Mark Zuckerberg's whore. Hello, everybody. Naturally. Oh, yeah. um, so the Oculus, obviously, you need to set it up. It's by Facebook. You need to set up with a Facebook account. Oh. It knows everything about you. Yeah. Knows your height. Knows the length of your arms. Knows the size of your hands. Can track your eyes. Knows the size of your head. No one gives a shit, right? <laughs> That's the thing. The thing that I'm worrying about is like, sure, the Oculus can co like collect as much data physically. Oh my god. But connecting this is the nerve. <laughs> <laughs> but collecting that data is one thing. Assigning it to me where mm. I have a public profile linked to my address, payment details, all that on Facebook. Nah. So I made a new Facebook account, naturally. Yeah, totally. mm. And me and Callan are just insane. We really are. Uh, we're monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> we're monkeying out. <laughs> Moon and Earth. Together. Oh, wow. it's it's the return. It's I the love return. that. The <laughs> but yeah, so I made a new Facebook account. It's just a generic like gamer tag name, and it's mm. I don't want it to be connected to me IRL, you know. But apart from that, if it's not connected to one of my public profiles, collect as much data as you want, baby. Advertise <laughs> exactly. ahead. Do whatever you want. <laughs> my body is not mine. Go ahead, Facebook. <laughs> Like, that's it. So, my body is ready. <laughs> my body is ready. That's what she said. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, so Facebook knows the size of my hands, the length mm. of my arms, my height, the size of my head. Your haircut. My haircut. Exactly. Ooh, my beautiful haircut. Oh, yes. But, yeah, so I don't care anymore. Virtual keyboard, moving, gesturing in VR mm. is so awesome. I feel like Iron Man, dude. <laughs> Isn't there an Iron Man VR game? It's on yeah. PSVR that's only. Insane. Oh, <laughs> it's damn, not on Oculus. Yeah. Close but enough, yeah, though. close enough. Mm. Yeah. We wanted to get your opinion on a couple things, Mina, because, I mean, we know that on occasion you're known to be profound in your own interesting <laughs> way. <right? laughs> <laughs> uh, We've got a reputation. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we all have it some stage. Uh, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Guys. Yeah. No, so just, just briefly, we're going to start it off real nice and easy. Do we exist? No. Okay, oh. so See, we're, we oh. agree on something, which is normal. We don't really exist. My first exposure to this kind of thought mm. experiment was my year four teacher. Oh, my oh that's, oh my that's, that's early. That's this is, yeah, yeah. I love Mrs. that. Mrs. Glaze, and she's like, Hello. I remember. <laughs> you guys remember? I do remember, yeah. So in case, fucking from the in case you guys don't know, me, Erin, Callan, and Budgie all went to the same primary school. Yeah. Oh, okay. So Mrs. Glaze, right? She said this, donut. I still remember it, man, like it was yesterday. Colors don't really exist, you can't see color, everything is black and white. <laughs> everything is just different energy levels of light I mean, bouncing yeah. off yeah, of shit. Yeah, she's not wrong. That's, that's true. true. That's real shit, man. I love that. You do <laughs> physics in year 11 and 12, you're like, man, Miss Glaze was on her shit from day one. Exactly. <laughs> right? No, I don't even... Remember that because I was busy just crying in the corner. Oh, <laughs> I think Sad I was parts. busy just yeah. thinking about Games? why I'm there. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. Why are we here? Why are we here? <laughs> that stems from this question. So I'm like, do, so if colors don't exist, do we even exist? Oh my the God. answer is the real uh, answer is no, right? So there's this thing called qualia, which is like oh, I love qualia. I love Dude, qualia so it's much. It's such a Dude, nice word as I know, well. It's so good to it say. It just rolls off the tongue. So qualia is essentially. Some shit happens, right? There's a sunset, yeah. right? And the sunset is just, okay, Earth is rotating. Yep. That's, that's monkey brain interpretation. Okay. Earth rotates, sun moves around horizon, right? But what we human brain sees 
Sunset beautiful. Sunset yeah. make me want to contemplate. Sunset make me want to look at it. And this yeah. emotional side of the sunset, <laughs> our interpretation of sunset is what qualia is, exactly. right? Exactly. If I hugged Erin right now, <laughs> right? She is. The physical the physical act of hugging Erin is just, you know, my skin coming in contact with his skin. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> but, but what Aaron feels, the love that Aaron feels. Or creeped out. Or creeped out that Aaron yeah. feels. Yeah, the That's, qualia. That's his qualia right there. So the step above a physical phenomenon, the human brain's interpretation of it and the emotional mm. connotations it has. That's what qualia is, right? Exactly. And if you take it, our brain is just like an electrochemical kind of computer, mm. right? So there's electrical signals and there's chemicals, right? Hormones and such that are playing a part, everything that you think, everything that you are, your identity, you know, that's all kind of, it's explained by physics and chemistry, right? So your, your conscious sense, like your conscious self is contained within that, right? But there's a difference between the brain and the mind. But as far as we're concerned, physically, like our, our mind, our soul doesn't exist physically. Like it's hard to believe that I'm actually a religious person, like even though I think mm. like this, but we don't really exist physically in that sense. Like our idea of the self and our idea of others and our emotions, that is beyond, like if that makes sense, our idea of conscience, like the hard problem of consciousness is what it's called. That cannot really be explained physically. So no, we don't exist. Wow. Yeah. That's so well, so we that's don't some exist physically. So you're just a meaty computer, basically. So we don't exist physically, but we so <laughs> so our bodies exist physically, right? We can move, we can mm -hmm. touch, we can do shit, but we can think, and that you know that thought process corresponds mm -hmm. to a kind of you know to electrochemical signals. Yeah. But oh, okay. but your your sense of self, your identity, your you know the bits of, the bits of you yeah. that kind of transcend that. Sure, you can have, you know, your brain is extremely malleable. And I don't, don't because encourage... Because it's very squishy. I don't yeah. encourage anyone to be literally malleable. I don't encourage yeah. anyone to test out the literal sense of malleable, but it can change. Neuroplasticity yeah. is a real thing. And physical changes can occur in the brain as you learn more about yourself mm. and you develop an identity. Your personality forms these kind yeah. of tendencies and tendencies become habits and habits become exactly. deeply ingrained values. That can have physical changes on the mm. brain. But aside from those physical changes, what makes you you cannot really be explained in a way where we can say objectively and scientifically, yeah, that exists and that's you. If you think about it, if we made a computer that was identical to me in every single way and I died, but all my memories and all my habits and all my ways of speaking were stored in that computer. For starters, dude, good luck to that computer trying to keep up with me. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely goaded, but if that computer was an exact representation of me, I'm still fucking dead, right? Yeah. I'm not... My, I'm not conscious anymore, even though that computer is exactly as I am and it mimics my brain in every single way. Yeah, so yeah, where yeah. did where the yeah. fuck did I go, right? I mm. well, really physically you can't exactly reproduce the yeah. same kind of continuous stream of consciousness because it doesn't really exist in a physical sense. Exactly. So, but yeah. It's that idea like uh, at the basic human element, uh, you can't control who you are. I mean there's a lot of genetic premeditations and whatnot. Uh, but like, think about it this way. Can, uh, you're afraid of things, right, Brandon? Oh, yeah. Yes, like exactly. Spiders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Spiders are my worst fear. <laughs> you, can't, you can't control what you're afraid of. Yeah. You can't just think to yourself, okay, I'm not afraid of spiders. Mm. Like, obviously, shot. through repeated uh, exposure and whatnot, and training yourself, you can, you know, get used to spiders, but you can't change that initial chemi chemical mm. balance. And then let's go into your likes. Like, uh, you like certain types of music, right? Sure. But if it was up to your own individual like choice, <laughs> then you just think, okay, I like all music, so I don't hate anything I listen to, you know? Mm. And then it gets even it goes even further from that, like your individual thoughts and whatnot, or like walking. Uh, you can think about it, like if you're just consciously walking, like you can think about it now, okay, I'm walking, you can think individually about your legs moving, but after a while, like your brain sw uh, swaps back to the unconscious side of the uh, mm. uh, cortex and it just walks automatically. Breathing. Right now that I mentioned breathing, you're thinking about the fact that you're breathing and that's a conscious Get out of my head. <laughs> Get out of my head. Get out of my head. But in about 30 seconds from now, you're going to forget that you're even breathing. <laughs> no, Callan. Get out of my head. That's not you. Callan you're not you breathing. Psychic. You're not walking and you don't choose what you're afraid of or what you like. You don't choose anything about you. 
Oh my gosh. Exactly. Exactly. And the thing is, those things that you don't choose about you, they're not a, they're not the same across all people. No one is the exact exactly. same kind of blank slate from birth, right? Mm. So it's weird because there are things that you have that you don't really have control over, but then nobody else has those things. Where did they come from? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Let's say Where did they come level, from? Uh, not only do we not exist, but do you believe that we're simulated? <sighs> no. Fair enough. Oh. Here's that's, the thing. Mm. If we are in a simulation, then that's as real as it can get. So what's the point of postulating? Yes, that is a, a very valid argument in that if this was a simulation, it feels so real to the degree where it hardly matters that it is a simulation. Exactly. And I'm assuming you've seen The Matrix, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Hell yeah, you've seen The Matrix. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> I know Kung Fu. So here's the thing. The idea of The Matrix is that it's not quite utopia, but it's real. And utopia mm. isn't really real. There's no such thing as a perfect society. So it's monkey it's, society. Exactly. It's flawed enough to make monkey brain think it's real. Because exactly. monkey brain is like, I need flaws to survive. So that's the matrix, right? It's an imperfect but still very imperfect orderly society. Perfection. Exactly. And it's run in perfect order. As far as the machines are concerned, it's run perfectly because it's in order and it's achieving its end, right? But to the people, obviously, it's not perfect, but we're used to that. That's how it is. When we get out of the matrix, it's fucking abysmal. All right, the world is polluted, machines control everything, people are being massacred if they do make it out of the matrix, right? Human, humans are kind of restrained to these kind of little tiny colony ships, and there's, um, there's Zion, the last bastion of human, you know, there's like a fort. Um, and it's terrible there, there's resource shortages, there's crime, there's like, you know, people don't have enough food, there's no energy, you're underground, the air's terrible, there's, it's dark. So it's like, if we are in a simulation and we get out, We've solved the philosophical problem as, okay, we were contained within something that was by design. And so we're restricted to this design thing and we feel like we're being oppressed because it's a design. And we're not happy with being subject to the circumstances of something that is in our own design. But then we get out and it's like, okay, what well, the fuck, this is shit, I want to go back. Basically, <laughs> right? So it kind of speaks to me at least society has a lot of unfair rules and the more of those unfair rules we can break the better but as soon as we start transgressing boundaries that are you know n that govern you know natural law moral law ethical law once we start crossing these laws because oh i didn't make up that rule why should i follow it life becomes kind of shit mm -hmm. so yeah about the whole simulation thing i feel like if we transcended what we know now in our current state of human knowledge, scientific advancement, technology that we have to our disposal, weapons, Natural. intelligence, emotional intelligence even, we would probably resort to killing ourselves if we found out this was a simulation. That's not even a joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad, but yeah. Um, because we're so predisto uh, predisposed with the idea that we are important. I mean, let's be honest, we started off life thinking that we were the literal center of the universe and whatnot. Dude, that's I mean, a, the Greeks figured hilarious. it out, like, maybe not, but then we forgot about that, and we went straight back into the geocentric model and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, like, we do have that unfortunate habit of thinking that mm. we're special snowflakes. Uh, I mean, personally, I feel like this is just a really big fucking accident, and uh, it could have easily gone in any other direction throughout the past 4.6 billion years or so of evolution. If anything, we've got it through enough uh, near extin extinction events. Uh, Earth has been Earth, real exactly. lucky, man. Earth it's extraordinarily you know, lucky. You know what? Now that we've just discovered something new, supermassive black holes can move mm. incredibly fast. Oh, it's concerning. You know what that means? That's scary, oh, man. Wow. I don't want to kick you. <laughs> just drifts through our neighborhood. So <laughs> So if you're lucky enough not to get like stretched out or ripped apart mm. at the event horizon, if you're lucky enough to make it to the center of the black hole, the singularity at the center, basically because of general relativity, time would be impossibly slow, almost stopped, pretty much stopped. So you'll be conscious, and I do the air quotation marks, because really you're not dead yet. And as long as you're not dead, in a sense, you are conscious. But remember what I said about the electrochemical signals? Yeah, totally. They wouldn't move. Exactly. Because time is not really diluted. Moving. Exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know if you guys have watched JoJo's Bizarre <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but let's go. There's this villain named Cars, and I'm pretty, he gets tossed into space. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he says, says something like, eventually Cars stopped thinking. And he, they say, they yeah. didn't say Cars died because he's yeah. unkillable. He's mm -hmm. like a god. Yes. They say he stopped thinking. 
Mm. And that's because eventually it got so cold, the energy, there was not enough energy for his body to facilitate that thing. And there was, I'm assuming he reached a point where he's close enough to, um, he was either moving fast enough or close enough to, um, to light uh, speed. like, yeah, moving close enough to light speed or he got really close to like a black hole or some other supermassive body with an immense gravity that time pretty much stopped for him. Like something like that. You know, he stopped thinking. He didn't die. He stopped thinking. That's what would happen to you if you were one of the lucky ones. Ooh. Otherwise, you'd kind of be ripped apart. Ripped apart on a scale, mind you, that you wouldn't even be able to perceive, let alone think of. Like an unfathomable. Because small the paradox level. of black holes is that they're the only thing in the known right. universe that can erase information itself. Like, uh, I mean, just hypothetically, like you've got a piece of paper and then you set it on fire and it just, it, like, hydrogen and shit. Uh, Carbon and whatnot ends up exactly. in but the, the thing atmosphere. Is there is an amount crap of, ends up on the ground. The thing is, we call combustion irreversible. It's really but not. But it's really not because exactly. there's, there's somewhere Everything's reversible. Somewhere in the universe, there's enough energy to reverse that. It's hmm. just that there's no way to create a confined, closed uh, system where that can happen. And the other thing is, we don't have a way of you know sourcing. Or at least that much like we, we realistically could, but why the fuck would we? That'd be really expensive for a piece of paper well, just yeah. to prove so something. In that sense, maybe not chemically, but maybe logistically or financially yeah. irreversible. Like I mean, uh, we can use a lot of fancy technology, which I'm not bothered to remember what it is. But <laughs> yeah. like, uh, we can mess with the uh, the electrons and shit and reconfigure atoms uh, through. Uh, Lasers, yeah, big fancy lasers. That's, that's all it is, Brandon. Everything is actually, to be fair, three things get the job done most of the time in science lasers, my mum, magnets. <laughs> all right, four things. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, guys, you got me there. Four things yeah. lasers, magnets, Callan's mum, and smashing shit together. It really so, does. Wow, that's what she That's said. essentially what the, uh, I love the old. That's essentially what she's the large hadron the, the collider. Hadron collider. Well, that's actually magnets and smashing. It's shit It's essentially together. the two of them working together in unison. Yeah. yeah. Smash the shit out of shit really fast, and it creates new shit, but really oh, yeah. fast. Sometimes if we're not pushing it together, we rip it apart. But yeah, that does happen on occasion. Yeah. But yeah, black holes are the one thing in the universe that will prevent you from uh, retaining information. Like once something has passed a black hole, as far as we're concerned, it is gone. Hence, its information itself is gone. So there's that. Uh, there's an interesting thought, con uh, like a thought experiment, if you will, where the passage into a black hole would literally erase your information, but what constitutes is information. And some people even believe that passing into a black hole would literally erase you from history. Mm. Obviously, there's a lot of speculation around that, but we don't know. Mm. Because anything that's gone into a black hole, you'd kind of... Have no you'd have, you'd have no idea that it's yeah. gone into a black hole. Well, that's the thing. It's... it's um as far as I can recall, the only space, funnily enough, in space, the only space in space where there is absolutely no light is in a black hole. Exactly. It's absolutely black. As in there's mm -hmm. no light escaping, you can't see. And it's not even black, because black is something. Exactly. So, yeah. Um, I was going to bring something else up, but whatever. Um, yeah. Well, I, 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 we do have another question for you guys. Um, do you guys believe that aliens... Like, aliens on the same level as humans. So don't go off by they? saying that we found bacteria on Mars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like, actual civilizations, like, at our level, or maybe Like, do you higher. think they came from that black hole? Yeah. How it's about an interstellar that? shit. Good fucking <laughs> Get out of the black hole. <laughs> Get out of the black hole. <laughs> Get out of the black hole. <laughs> of the black hole. <laughs> How about not going in in the first place? Yeah. No, no, nothing no, as it looks. What happened to wormholes <laughs> and white holes? Like if normal people who travel interstellar, <laughs> you know? Right. If they're as advanced or more advanced than humans, they're not going in a black hole, let's be real. Yeah, not at all. I mean, out of, out of curiosity, maybe. Maybe I might go into a black hole. It's a good way to go. It's a good way to go. Good. Like, that's the best wow, thing. Wow, I never swear I've had this conversation it. before. I swear <laughs> I've had this exact conversation that a black hole would be the best way to go. Oh no! I think that was a Neil deGrasse Tyson video that I watched. Actually, yeah, that would make sense. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you calling him Neil deGrasse Tyson? Thank you. Oh my god, Neil deGrasse Tyson. My nice god, to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. Oh. Thank you. It's an honor. You're as gorgeous in person as you are on TV. I know. I oh, wow. Well, yeah, my really name's is. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But do but do you guys believe that aliens, at least, like again, those sort of advanced civilizations exist out there? Star Wars. Maybe. Do you think Star Wars is real? 
I mean, that would be cool. It would be cool. It would be cool. What do you mean Star Wars isn't real? <laughs> How dare you! From a long time you? ago, man. In a galaxy far, <laughs> far away! <laughs> <laughs> Disappoint me, you have. Yes, I do. <laughs> wasn't my intention. <laughs> I find your lack of faith disturbing. I get, I got that reference. Yes, you did. Congrats. He's getting there, guys. <laughs> He's getting there. Yeah, yeah, we've got to answer the question at some point. Aliens, yes, no. They don't have to be Star Wars level, but like, we could talk about fucking lizards on the fucking moon as God far as I'm concerned. Want, yeah. Who knows? What if there's a monkey? Exactly. What if there's a monkey, monkey a planet? planet. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Man, oh, look. That'll be oh, a great boy. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. There's gonna be some backlash. Yeah, no, that, Someone, it, it's a hard question to answer. Mm, yeah, no, but some, we don't, we don't even know one. the edges of the universe. Some We've people, not perceived it. Some people that I'm, I'm like, some people that I know won't like me saying this. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, mum, but <laughs> dude, if there are monkey aliens, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm whipping it out. Mina's mum, you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> it's for science, man. It's for science. Well, I mean, you know what? Uh, that's that's <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good, good enough. Well, yeah. well, fair enough. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, obviously, the, the odds of life forming at all are so exponentially dismal. Mm. Like, I mean, as we alluded to before, life on Earth is barely still functioning. There was a point <laughs> in time where, like, there was such a large, grandiose extinction event where the amount of life forms on Earth existed only in the thousands. Like, mm. almost everything had been killed off, and we found, like, the very few remains of, like, what so remained. Hilarious to me. Exactly. Like, Life nearly just fucked up before it I even know, got yeah. out of the water. <laughs> it's like, dude, at least let me walk, please, I know. first, man. I just yeah. see some can... half-formed fucking fish, and it's like, oh my god, everyone's fucking dead! <laughs> we can <laughs> only roll the dice so many times. Exactly. Roll a d20. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we rolled a 19 for a minute there. <laughs> Did planet oh, Earth no. be rolling 20s, though? Like, uh, sometimes. Barely. Barely, dude. Like, how many mass extinction events? I think it was 17. They're the shittiest no. dice rollers exactly yeah. we can wipe out more or less as humans more or less pretty much everything except the deepest of ocean life and probably the hardiest of reptiles yeah using um Nukes. nuclear bombs yes yeah. hell yeah I'm I mean, not I'm so, I'm so looking forward to that and I'm so scared oh, I'm of waiting that. for it dude except for the cockroaches they'll be fine true the cockroaches oh man yeah God dude man. and the moon bears yeah. What about, yeah. What about the water drop bears? Water but bears. moon bears, because they're in space now. <laughs> what about the drop oh, bears? Well, not now. Bears. The drop yeah, bears. The drop bears. Yeah. They'll also be fine. They're practically radioactive as it is. Dude, they're riddled with shit. Yeah. Americans yeah. don't come over here. They're it's, just too much. They're so dangerous. <laughs> I got attacked by one. Exactly. If you don't want a chlamydia, please. If you yeah. can't take on a school shooter, you can't take on a drop <laughs> bear. All right. <laughs> a bit dark. A bit dark. But that's what we're here for. Yeah. yeah. We handle the hard topics on the Any Last Words podcast. You're saying like a drop bear could catch a bullet in midair. You know what? We handle more dark things, that's what she said. Whoa! On the Red Vert One Cal channel, subscribe to Vertical. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> subtle plug, not you know, so subtle. He's been doing this since, since his last week. <laughs> <laughs> I've been planning the really subtle, kind of like subversive ways I can be like, okay, where can I say Red Vert One Cal? Oh, It'll I be like that. subliminal messaging. All right. Yeah. People will be saying subscribe to Renvo One Cow without even knowing. He's it. gonna hack your YouTube account. He's just gonna. Oh, he probably he's just will. Gonna post a link. On <laughs> just <laughs> upload all your videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Dude, and, I mean, he's gonna change you... the description of this. Uh, oh <laughs> shit! <yes. laughs> we'll do it for you. It's That's right. a good point. We might do that. I will please. do it for you. It's fine. Dude. Yeah. And if you're subscribing to Renvo One Cow, please, you're already on social media. You're already using the internet. Go follow Mina Mina Mina. This and true. go watch yes. Monkey Monday. Yeah. Monkey guys. Monday's best day of the week. Best yeah. day of the week. Yeah. Guys, yeah. everyone hates Mondays? Not anymore. Except for Friday. <laughs> I fixed that. Truck Friday. I'm a problem solver. I fix that. Monkey yeah. Mondays yeah. fix Bad Day Monday. Bad Day Monday. Bad Day Monday? Go on. Monday Monday. Monday Monday. Yeah. Monday, Monday. Yeah. Just regular Monday. Channel plugging jokes aside, I do want to make more videos. Yes. And yeah. I've, I have... I, Mina knows this. I have, a, I have a terabyte full of videos I've recorded. Yep. Really? <laughs> over, and over maybe some videos he's oh, downloaded. <laughs> maybe some he's downloaded too, but over over the past <laughs> since since COVID lockdown, I've just been like Yeah. I want mm. to I, I want to do something else apart from 
fucking Jack studying. Jacking off all day, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's what you do, Cal. Um, yeah, who needs to study? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> and I was like, and yeah, and that's when I was like, oh, freaking, we, I have like videos on my hard drive. I can edit. Freaking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna milk the hell out of the school's Photoshop. Or, sorry, yeah, Adobe Suite, and just make videos. Yeah. Are you um, still waiting on those videos from what was it, April May time last year? Yes. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> you know we had so because we had so much clips um, of us playing. Yeah, just Ma- just ranked matches Grand- from like Grand Theft Auto, Counter Strike. I I don't have GTA oh, clips. Oh shit! Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So a lot of a lot of the content so far has just been Counter Strike videos. Mm. I had. Um, Probably like no, my last, uh, my last video that I uploaded was just kind of an indicator, like, hey, I'm I want to make more content. I mm. don't want to keep making these CS videos. I'm barely even halfway through going all <laughs> <laughs> through going through that series, yeah. and it's just us just trying to get out of silver. Mm. Um, <laughs> And we eventually just gave up. Spoiler was still in silver. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we just stopped playing that game. Silver uh, one. Let's go. I personally, I personally do not enjoy CS that much anymore. That's fair. Um, yeah. um, Drama controversy. And, but like when Valorant came out, oh man. <laughs> oh, that's a yeah. I remember Valorant first, poopoo brain. <laughs> the first time it came out, I was like, I'll try it out. I was like, this plays like shit. <laughs> and, then, yeah. um, and then one of my other friends was like, Hey, can you play Valorant with me? I was like. And, 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 um, and then I eventually started playing with him. I was like, you know, this is, this is actually pretty fun, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And I, if I recorded them, I would have gone good clips, but I didn't. Mm. But yeah, I was, t- I was tough ragging on most of those games. Mm. Um, and Legend. yeah, I think, and he wanted me to play it more, but I was just like, nah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, fair enough. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Well, back to the last video I uploaded. It, there's a mix of, there's like a good mix of games, not just yeah, CSGO. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Movie. There's, you know, it started with Overwatch, uh, Skullgirls. Yeah, Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, all those FPSs look the exact same to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all okay. Not yeah. all of them, but yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Overwatch 2. Oh, that's a comment like four years ago. <laughs> yeah. So, why is their marketing game so high now? Uh, I think because they're gonna, they were announcing that, oh, it's coming out this year. Blizzard pulls yeah. a cyberpunk. It, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, the thing is, like, they, they don't backlash. put any more content anymore. Like, mm. it's all I just, mean, like, uh, reused. And I now, mean, yeah, I mean, some people freaking. Man, this is probably me looking at Twitter too much, but people just make so many jokes about Overwatch, like, oh, what story? Oh, what story? There's a story? Really? Yeah. 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 Not in Russia because Trace is gay, but uh, everywhere else, yeah. Yeah. I see. yeah. And soldier. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> soldier. Soldier, soldier boy. Oh no. Irregardless. I think um, we've got one last question. Is, hell, it, is that yes. time? Is it that time? What conditioner do you use, guys? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's yeah. not shampoo, yeah. but like conditioner is oh, where true, it's at. True, true. Okay, conditioner. Conditioner, conditioner, oh, yes. conditioner. Yeah. I need this. Okay, everyone shush. Okay. Look, I'm gonna be real, real here. Well, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real, real, like really, really real. That's pretty real, bro. I know, this is very contrasting <laughs> to what we were on about about 20 minutes ago. Okay, so conditioner though. Um, what was my shampoo again? Um, <laughs> it was like fucking goat cow, cheese, cow's cow's milk, milk cow's shirt, cow's coffee yeah. beans. Right. So, I'm a, I'm a pull a switcheroo. My conditioner is actually lamb's blood. Oh, naturally, yeah. Oh, I can see that huh, working. Okay. Like the sheen yeah. in that. It is natural. Yeah. Yeah. It is very natural. Oh, and what? the iron in it certainly yeah, strengthens uh, yeah, the it's roots. It's got the iron. It's got um, the... The, the, the blood. The blood. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's got a lot of water. Secretly it, has, it, you. it secretly has yeah. keratin. It's got the lamb yeah. in it. Oh. I've, exactly. I've got... Probably. You walk around smelling like a lamb child. <laughs> 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 I've got probably 12 liters of lamb's blood in my garage. Oh, totally just for the conditioner, not for any like ominous purpose at all, but like, yeah, Drinking, totally just get lamb's blood. 
Yeah. What, wow. Yeah. What about you, Aaron? What about you? Aaron? <laughs> Are you lamb's blood as well, or more like what about sheep? Condition? <laughs> <laughs> uh, get shiny nah, hair. You know, like like the last question about shampoo. <laughs> Just whatever my parents give me. <laughs> yeah. So if we snuck a bottle of lamb's blood in the shower and you put like a conditioner label on it. Uh, Probably. Would you, would you just kind yeah. of roll? See it like just spill out like what the fuck. <laughs> and then just like shake his head. Am I the only one here who likes the smell of a butcher? Because the yeah, blood wouldn't pull me off. It's not that bad. It's, it's pretty not nice. that bad. What's worse work is the as fish a market. Oh, true. Fish I market. Kinda, yeah. I kind of like biting fish. Yeah. I like biting my lip and then sucking the blood. Ooh. It tastes pretty good. Dude, when I get a cut. When I fill up my cup with ketchup, I get When I fill up my cup with petrol, you best believe I'd be on that. Just huffing that shit. Just right up the nose. Actually, petrol's another thing that does it, that smells surprisingly good. I don't like it. I don't like it. Actually, I like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't Maybe, uh, I don't like it. 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 I don't like yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Someone. Yeah. That's interesting though. Like I imagine that's a genetic trait because uh, like 50% of the population can smell the uh, asparagus pea smell. You know that? Like, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's a genetic trait. Like there's an actual genome which allows you to smell the specific... Uh, uh, the specific cells that are broken down after you've shat out asparagus. And Hell if you yeah. don't have that genome, you can't smell asparagus after you've pissed it, you know? It's and it's probably the same piss. thing with like <laughs> da- yeah exactly piss. it's probably the same thing with like uh, yeah, yeah I, everything else I think it was coriander yeah. some people have this thing with coriander yeah. oh so, yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. that's yeah. I'd hate to live like that mm. um, I know can you imagine yeah. not me I couldn't imagine no. exactly no. No. yo speak, speak about food so I mentioned earlier that I worked at a cafe right mm. oh. so, shit no, okay, okay. alright so <laughs> yesterday yesterday these two girls ordered um uh, ham cheese tomato toasty oh, with no yeah. ham and tomato. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so just okay, cheese toast. Yeah, we literally have a menu uh-huh. item called cheese, cheese toasty. toasty. But were they and white? Yes. Oh, oh that explains oh, everything. Oh, oh, you can always blame the whites. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin', I see the order come out. I'm like, what? The, we're, me and the, me and my workman were just like, what the fuck is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> And Should have just dedu- charged them for extra cheese. Deducting ingredients doesn't deduct price. So they they oh, charge more for... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I had something similar happen with Macca's. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother used to work at Macca's. Oh, yeah. And uh, this, uh, I think one of, the, one of the girls that was looking at the counter, he went up to my brother. She went up to my brother. And she was like, dude, this guy wants a cheeseburger. No, a hamburger. But with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> called a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> my brother was just like... And that's a cheeseburger. And she's like, that's what I said, we just want it. <laughs> <I'm> just like, <laughs> I don't want that cheeseburger so crap. Give me a hamburger with cheese. Oh, anyway, they, he came white? back. I think so. You can always blame the whites. <laughs> he, he came back. He's like, yo, this is a cheeseburger, not a hamburger with cheese. <laughs> what is the difference, my guy? Is there a difference? Oh my god. It's, so, okay, when I when I go to Macca's, it's either I I freaking order from a Macca's deal or I order uh, barbecue bacon Angus and um, I asked for that and the kid was like the kid was looking through it in the menu Mm. he had no idea what it was like and uh, um, and so he was like what's that (laughs) (laughs) I was like huh it's barbecue bacon Angus right he looks through the menu again he he asked and he goes up to another employee and asks (laughs) And then, it, it, it didn't, it, that didn't help him at all, because he, he went to the breakfast menu, and he selected, oh, no. he selected, um, I think he selected a, a Mighty McMuffin, and, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and swapped, dare. and swapped the, the sausage patty for an Angus patty. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's and I, and yes. I just, I fucking looked at it, I was like, yeah, nah. Fuck the, it's like, my can't cancel the order, it's alright. Oh, no. He's living in the It's It's totally just under the beef menu. How can you not see it? <laughs> I, I have oh, one man. question. Was the kid white? Yes. <laughs> you always play oh, real oh, white. Yes. No, one thing we can't blend the whites for, good comedy, right? 
And like there are funny white people, there are white comedians, but like I'm gonna list off a few names real quick that I consider to be the canon of like comedians, right? Actually. Richard Pryor, mm-hmm. the guy who played Dolomite, I forgot his real name. Eddie Murphy, 100%. Arsenio Hall, um, uh, Chris Tucker, yeah. Dave Chappelle, oh, 100%. Okay, Kevin Hart, somewhat, <laughs> yes. he's very recent, he's okay. but like more or less in chronological order, Steve Harvey even. Mm. Do you know what they all have in common? They ain't one. <laughs> they ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> They're just like my coffee. <laughs> oh man, I love my black coffee. Oh, uh, exactly. Yeah, the whites, the whites yeah. can be disappointing. Uh, I'll try to make sure I'm really good at disappointing time. people. Oh uh, yeah, dude, complain. <laughs> tell our right. uh, management. Okay, okay. tell the story. Right, so he came, he came to my work one day and he was just, yeah, he ordered a coffee. And um, after, so, and then after he left, um, after a while, he sent me a photo um, of his car, and it's just <laughs> his, his coffee just spilled on the car. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> that's, that's so upsetting and disappointing. You know, and also... you know why? You know why? Because the cups are fucking the cups are paper thin. Like, yeah. It's, uh, Ew. And Gross. so, like, you like you like grab it with just like and it deforms the least amount. Yeah, it just deforms in your so, hand, like, and the lid just pops off. Yeah. Oof. And it's, my god. Yeah. Pain. You know what else is popping off though? Just makes yeah. outros. Yeah. Hell yeah. This yeah. episode yeah. about to pop off. Exactly. Such yeah. disappointing this just been things. Popping. Yeah. If you've made it to the end of this episode, thank you. But if you haven't liked it, then fuck you. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Screw Hit that you. ding 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 fucking bell button. <laughs> That's the thing now. I think you should yeah. do the same thing for. Uh, exactly. Should do, yeah. Yes. You know what? A quick yeah. plug. Please. Go Please. right Please. ahead. Yeah. Right. So yeah. You guys should do the same thing to to the uh, vertical subscribe to <laughs> 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 Yeah, just plug Aaron for a moment. Yeah, yeah man. Um, you know, uh, keep keep the likes going, keep the subs going. Hey, maybe I'll upload again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, dude. Share his latest video with two of your friends, and while you're at it, share this video with two of your friends, and that way we triple both of our audiences. That's amazing. Wow, Stonks. that's how that works, right? Stonks. Please, Stonks. please follow Mina Mina Mina. Exactly. Watch Monkey Mondays. His Monkey Mondays. Monkey Mondays. Is, is My amazing. Monkey Actual Mondays. Bangers. If you're down bad, Monkey Monday will fix that. Monkey Monday. Gets if you, you hate every Mondays, time. Monkey Monday will fix that. It um, really does. If if you're like. If you really, really, really need help, Monkey Monday maybe not fix that, but it might help <laughs> just a bit. So go watch Monkey Mondays, Reject all Humanity, all Return links, to Monkey. All links will be in the description. And of course, most importantly, don't forget to check out Ghosting underscore Jali on Twitter, Instagram, Hell and yeah. all the other socials. Yes. You know, send some money her way and she'll draw you something fucking lit. So she can come Amazing. back to us all. Exactly. Beautiful. <laughs> fucking good eyes. Well then, <laughs> one more question. One last question. Yes. Are we going to do it in sync this time? Yes. Okay. Yes. And we're going to buy by a Russian dolphin. Mm. Well, oh, okay. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Aaron? <laughs> Your mom. All right. Okay. Well, last words. The chances of being sexually assaulted by a dolphin are low. <laughs> but, <yeah>. but never <laughs> zero. Now we oh, just okay. do 30 seconds oh, yeah, of yeah. shit for the end. So, like. <laughs> Uh, someone say sure. something really controversial. Uh, Are you like pineapple president. on pizza? Um, Can pigs fly? Um, not all human rights are equal. Not everyone has equal human rights. Uh, this is true. Uh, all as, people as do a, not deserve to reach the top shelf. <laughs> it's a hot dog a sandwich. Yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> pineapple balls on pizza! No. Yeah! <laughs> Aaron, uh, does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes. No! Yeah! Yeah! That is an outro to the outro right fucking there.